What's going on guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video. Where well, last time we placed down our glorious hub, we worked through hub upgrade 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and then into tier 1, got them completed which give us base building, logistics and field research. And now we're currently still working on tier 2, which give us part assembly so we can start working on like modular frames, rotors and then even smart plating so we can start working and getting out of phase 1. Also obstacle clearing so I can clear down those trees. So then I can add more leaves into this storage or wood into this storage so we can start semi-automating the actual solid biofuel at the end of this line because we now have biomass burners with inputs. So we're currently sat on a, you know, a production rate of 96.8 megawatts or 100 megawatts on average with a max consumption rate of 169 megawatts. And then we set up basic iron plates and then basic iron rods which are basically in these two machines, which go into this storage and this storage. But as you can tell, there is no iron ore going into the rods because we've still not set it up. But as you can tell over here, we have set up the copper. So we have copper wire being made and cable, which then gets stored into these two containers. And that is where we're pretty much at right now. So let's continue today with our first little project, which is basically get the iron ore from the, uh, the miners over to this rod setup where it's, it's already happened it's already happened already happened hi bean all is fine right so in regards to the casted screws i'm just going to take it up by three and then add you nope add you to the top remove these remove that and then make my way up here and i'm going to add a third floor to this rod section and i'm going to get these four constructors here two i'm trying not to say basically because chat is memeing me right now and it's so hard i'm trying i'm thinking of every single bloody word i'm saying and i'm i'm tr i'm trying not to say it because <laughs> if you don't know i'm recording this live and i'm live streaming right now and i'm looking at chat and they keep looking at me and memeing it me 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 i can't even speak i can't even speak <laughs> But anyway, if you're interested in joining the, the, the live stream, I'm live for like the next 137 hours as of recording this video. So if you're watching this in two years, I'm probably still going to be here. So I've added four foundations above where I'm going to put the next constructors where I think I'm going to do that for screws. And then we're going to send them down. So what I'm going to do is instead of bringing this lift down here, I'm actually going to take it up another level like so. I'm just going to take that up there and then we're going to put down the constructors and then we can quickly work out the maths. So if we were to do constructor, we know that we're getting rods in. How many rods am I making per minute? I didn't even work out the maths. It's just come to me like common sense. Uh, 15 per each one, right? Yeah, 15 per each one, which means 60 per line, which is fine. I need to get back up here now. Let me back up. And then in here, we're going to do screws. I could do this casting screws, but I'm not bringing in any more iron. I could turn one of these into casting. Maybe I should just do that. Why do I not just do that? Why not? Why do I not just turn this into casted screws? You know? Hmm. Yeah, we're doing that. We're doing that. It'll make more sense. Let's just change these. We are, it is going to be underperforming because we can't underclock or anything yet. So let's just set that to cast this screw. Let's just copy these. Paste and paste. So that's going to be 50 iron ingots per minute. I feel like we are slacking on the ingots because it feels like something's missing. These are optimal. These are pushing through. You're pushing through. Maybe it's just not heated up yet to allow for production. Has the manifold pushed it along yet? I don't think it has. Maybe. Okay, so 12.5. We are going to push through this manifold. We are going to need to change these lines up because for each of these constructors, we're going to need one belt. So that's going to be four belts in total. And we definitely don't have room to organize that. Right, I need more reinforced plates. If I can get more reinforced plates, I can unlock Logistics Mark II. Getting Logistics Mark II gives me 120 per minute Mark II belts. So let's handcraft some reinforced plates because why the hell not? Okay, handcrafted some reinforced plates, concrete, and you, and plates. Oh, do we not have enough plates? Rip. Yoink, 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 and yoink. Then we could throw you back in there, and then bada bing, bada boom. A bow. Nice. Hey, Ada. Milestone reached. Fix it would like to remind you of your contractual obligation towards efficiency. <laughs> Recreational use of belts and lifts does not count towards work hours and will put you on the list. 
Stay efficient. Don't disappoint. Fix it. Nice. Thanks, Ada. I don't think we've got anything in the map, have we? No, we did unlock some of this stuff, though. Dimensional depots we need to aim for. But for that, we need to also make the sand fluctuators. And the sand fluctuators are made in manufacturers. So... Hmm. I wonder if the finger guns Easter egg is still there. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Pew, pew. Is it still here? Where's the Easter egg? Ada, you, Ada used to speak to you if you did this multiple times. But I don't know if the... Uh, because she's had a bit of a rework. I don't know if she's changed and she doesn't have it anymore. Maybe not. Okay, but now we have uh, Mark II belts. So obviously for, to make Mark II belts, we are going to need reinforced plates. And we can now transport to 120 items per minute. And still need to figure out what I want to do with these constructors because I feel like I need to move them. Either move them or flip them or change them around somehow because there's no way actually... What I could do, which could make it look a little weird, is remove all of their mergers and their belts and the output belts and then put a foundation on top and then zoop that that way and that way. Take it back by one and make it a double size. Then remove this one and then get myself a lift and take it that way like this to add four of these lifts right here like so. And then we bring you, press R, turn you to the new snapping mode, which is beautiful, by the way. Take you along here. Take you along there. Take you along here. And now that solves our problem in regards to 50 per minute. But I could merge two lines, which was the whole purpose of me getting Mark II belts. So I've just, yeah. Anyway, at least I have screws being done now. I could merge them still down here. I guess. But I am now too far gone into building this. And now I've got my screws coming down. And now we can figure out we can get these screws in with the plates and the rods to then make rotors and reinforced plates. Nice. So what I want to do now is I want to basic... I nearly said it. Um, I'm... I'm... I want to... <laughs> mm. I... <laughs> I am going to get the space elevator built. Um, so I'm going to add that to, to my to-do list. And I'm going to need 500 concrete. Oh, I've got plenty of screws here we can use for our own personal storage. So let's get concrete done. Let's get concrete. Uh, let's get some wire. Get some plates sorted. We can sort all these grids out later on when I get the uh, walkways. And then I can start merging two grids together. So let's get some wire. Let's get some plates, which we've got over near our engines. I am not saying it, chat. I am not saying it. So let's grab some plates. Bada bing, bada bosh. And now I need to figure out where I want to put this space elevator. The best... Uh, oh, actually, it was the best looking base. Uh, the base building item in the game. The machine in the game. I could have just put it here, right? Until the new augmenter come out. I think I wanted a bit more room than this. I want to kind of organize the uh, concrete a bit more. So, space elevator. I need... To put you down and then we can see all this in its glory build my precious build build i can see lights oh this is technically the first time we're going to see project assembly hmm come to me come to my grasp i'm just wondering if i need the smart plates and to actually show project assembly first maybe i do i think we actually do hi ada Project assembly initialized. Ooh. Congratulations, Pioneer. The space elevator will now automatically connect with the project assembly orbital platform. Project assembly is divided into phases, each of which require the delivery of project parts, such as smart plating, via the space elevator. Subsequent phases unlock access to new tiers with more advanced technologies to construct, automate, explore, and exploit. It is time to be honest. This project is part of the Save the Day program, the largest united undertaking in human history, destined to save us all. Earth is in peril and only Fix-It pioneers offer hope for survival. Fix-It is counting on you. Humanity is counting on you. Do not let Fix-It down. Sorry, mommy. I will not let Fix-It down. So we need to put the 50 smart plates in and they've actually changed the, uh, the UI of the uh, special elevator, which is pretty cool. So yeah, we need 50 smart plating, which will then give us the first project assembly. So if we now head over here, hopefully, I don't think we're gonna have the 50 smart plating. I guess we'll just have to wait. We have 22. 
look through the window and witness a threat. Um. Well, this wasn't supposed to happen. Back to day one. <laughs> Right, let's check if we now... We do have the space... Uh, smart space plating? Smart plating. I don't know why I'm calling it space plating. So let's throw you into here. And then seal it. And then we'll be able to blink and send it. I love how it, the whole canister thing happens now. Oh. Welcome oh. to the Project Assembly Pioneer Progress oh. Presentation. Congratulations, the phase one project part shipment is now ready for delivery. On delivery, phase one will be completed and the distribution platform will be constructed. After completion of phase one, the technologies of tiers three and four will become available in the hub. Highlights are automated power, steel production, personnel transportation, and many more. Completing phase two of project assembly is your next main objective. New project parts will need to be produced and delivered to the space elevator as you have done previously. Continue to construct, automate, explore and exploit for a better fix-it future. Yeah, I'm, I'm super glad they kind of left Ada as a Vocaloid. Right, now let's send it. Obviously, we've got to tier 3 and tier 4 many, many times before, but that... Oh... But this, obviously, now we've we've got update one, 1. 1.0. Seeing all of this be built and whatnot is going to be pretty cool. Whoa! Whoa! Phase one of project assembly completed. This is only the beginning of project assembly, the first step towards saving the day. You have performed adequately so far. Reminder. Not only is Fix-It saving humanity, it is saving all of Earth, including kittens and puppies. It is statistically likely that you appreciate the continued existence of kittens and or puppies. Continue the work for their sake. Continue the work for Fix-It. It is time to start the work on Phase 2 of Project Assembly. Okay, that was pretty cool, and that is something I've not seen. I've seen, obviously, the project assembly at the top, what it looks like, but I've not seen it built in real time and all that kind of stuff. That was kind of badass. I like the whole introduction in, like, the little, the little like, commercial thing it did in here now, after within 1.0, and that being built. And then, obviously, every time we send a phase off, it's going to do something else. Oh, now all the clouds are coming back. That was cool. Yeah, that looked cool. We've now completed... Uh, did, did, phase it is time to unlock coal we can start moving into steel and ooh, we could even start look oh, i don't even have reinforced plates we let me just grab some then put the man i also need cable so let me grab some of them also and then i can put down the man and as i was saying we should now be able to look into dimensional depot because i need this the dimensional depot uploader is used to upload resources to a dimensional storage deposit from here, resources can be used by the build gun and crafting stations as they were in the Pioneer inventory. But we do, like I said, need to make the sound fluctuator, which is made in the manufacturer. And there we have it. We have now... Comp wait, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah wait, 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 wait. And there we have it. We have now completed phase one of our little season three adventure i think we kind of do need to clean some of this up but also when i was doing this outro i didn't realize how short this video was going to be so check out my other content right here and uh, as always keep smiling and i'll see you in another video i'm just going to carry on strafing this way now <laughs> see ya bye bye i'm getting further away now <laughs>